Medical marijuana now, THC products you eat like gummies have become a booming industry in Louisiana and you might be shocked to see just how big it's gotten in a very short period of time. But that quick growth could be coming to a fast halt. Here's Capital Correspondent Chris Rosado to explain why. Well, just as quickly as we've seen this industry skyrocket here in Louisiana, a bill moving through the state legislature could send it spiraling down just as fast. What started as a shot in the dark here in the Deep South has quickly turned into a booming business. Data from the Louisiana Hemp Association shows retail sales in the industry started at just over $500,000 when the doors were opened in 2020 to a whopping $33 million last year, which means tax revenue for those products went from just $64,000 in 2020 to $4.1 million in 2023. Well, it sounds like a lot to, to most people, to, to individuals in, in particular, but it's really not that much money. State Senator Thomas Presley is carrying a bill that would essentially scrap the industry completely, largely associating access to minors as his reason for bringing it. It had overwhelming support in the Senate. It now needs House approval. Yeah, so my bill on THC products will take THC level to zero, so we'll still be able to have uh, CBD sold in Louisiana, but the THC aspect of the industrial hemp uh, would, would be over uh, in Louisiana. Unlike the state's medical marijuana program, you don't need a doctor's referral or medical marijuana card to purchase these products. You just have to be at least 21 years old. The doors were opened in 2020, but it was in 2022 when state lawmakers approved a bill by then Republican Speaker of the House Clay Sheck Snyder to allow up to 8 milligrams of THC in recreational products. Many lawmakers were under the impression the products would not get people high, but they do. Here locally... Folks have been driving past Rad Dad Alternative on Government Street for the last six months. Sleep section here, which is uh, really popular. Margaret Wilkinson tells me she and her husband got into the business because they believe the public interest in alternative medicines has never been higher. They say business has only gotten stronger since they've opened. Looking around, you'll see she's got products ranging anywhere from gummies to tinctures and seltzers and even pet food. We've absolutely seen uh, an increase in tra foot traffic, sales, people coming here anywhere from young professionals to uh, older folks who are looking for better sleep, pain management. Margaret tells me Senator Presley's bill becoming law would reverse all the progress the state has made in such a competitive industry. It would definitely be impactful. Um, I think the current bills in, in the legislature would, would, would definitely have an impact on, on us or people who are looking to, to get into the business. Now the bill is currently waiting to be taken up in the House Committee on Criminal Justice for further debate. We'll be there to bring you the details whenever it does. At the Capitol, I'm Chris Rosado. Back to you. Chris, thank you. While that bill is gaining momentum, another bill looking to 